Hey everybody, my name is Anthony Co-Francesco from Data Dive, and today I'm going to be walking through how to use Data Dive. And this video in specific is going to be about how to start your dive. Now, the important thing to know is that in order to use Data Dive, you have to use the Chrome extension. So you can scan this QR code up on the screen, or you can go to datadive.tools to go and download the Chrome extension. There's two ways that you can do a dive. One is fast and the other is more precise. The fastest way is to go straight from Helium 10 inside of X-Ray, and the more precise way, which is what we recommend, is to actually add competitors to your ASIN tray. I'm gonna cover both of those right now, but let's start by showing the fastest way, which is through X-Ray. So in order to get started with your dive, first I'm gonna ask you to go through and toggle some settings. So open up the Data Dive extension, click Options, and then we recommend checking these three boxes. First, to hide sponsored results. These sellers are paying to show up, so we might not want to include those in our dive. We also want to sort our X-ray table with the sales descending so that the highest revenue products are up at the top. Lastly, we're going to want to highlight new products that have come on the market within the past 90 days. If these ones are showing up in the search results, right? highly ranked products within the past 90 days, they're doing something very interesting to get there and we're gonna to wanna to take a deeper look at those strategies. The next thing to do is to go to your search bar and put in the keyword or the niche that you're searching for. In this example, we're gonna be using the keyword dog bed. So after you've done that and click search, you're gonna to go to the Helium 10 extension and you're gonna launch X-Ray. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and select the accounts that you wanna analyze. Data Dive at the end of the day is just gonna give you data. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is select and filter out the competitors to be only the relevant non-sponsored competitors that are showing up in the results. So in order to select the accounts that you wanna highlight, you're gonna click the checkbox on the left-hand side. Data Dive is also gonna ask you where you wanna place your research. So if you've previously done a dive, you can go and categorize that. In this case, we've selected dog bed as one of our previously created niches. But as well, if you wanna go through, you can create a new niche name if this is your first time doing a dive. I cannot stress this enough, go through and spend the time to create different names for your niche. This is gonna help after you've done many dives to keep this much more straight in your head. Some people are gonna categorize these by client names, by project type. Take the minute to go through and actually do that. In this case, we've created a new niche name for dog bed project. Now, when you're actually here in the X-ray results, you can go and exclude an ASIN here by clicking the minus button. And then you can see the excluded ASINs here up on the top of the screen. As well, if you're diving into a previously created niche, it's going to identify competitors that have been included in past search results. And that's gonna be with this little time icon right there. If you're doing a dive into a previously created niche, one of the cool new features that we've added is in addition to the current competitors that you're showing, you can actually select a certain number of competitors from a previous dive. So you can toggle those parameters on how many ASINs you'd like to have included by clicking the drop downs here. And then now with this new feature, you can dive up to 25 ASINs at a time and you can decide exactly how many come from this new set of research and then your past competitors in the previous niche. So the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is click the green dive button and then we can get started. So that was the fastest way to start a dive. What we really recommend though is the more precise way, which is adding products to your ASIN tray. And so in order to do that, you can do this from the X-ray results or you can do this from the page of search results. So in order to add an ASIN to your tray, you can click the green plus icon or you can remove it from clicking the red trash icon. You can also do this from search results, again, by clicking add to tray or remove to remove an item that you've already added to the tray. Once you've gone through and you've identified and added all of the different competitors that you want in your tray, if you click on the data dive extension, you're now gonna see a list of all of the ASINs that you've added to your tray. If you have a list of ASINs that you've previously added to the tray and you'd like to create a new list, the best way to do that is to click clear tray and then it's gonna clear out that entire list. Once you have the list that you're happy with, you're gonna click the blue button for search on Amazon. And now what's gonna happen is Data Dive is gonna create a customized page 
with only the ASINs that you've included in your ASIN tray. Now, a lot of people might ask, Anthony, why would I wanna add ASINs to the tray, right? And the real reason that you wanna do this is first and foremost, you might be wanting to include competitors from a range of different keywords, or more importantly, not every product on Amazon is assigned a BSR or bestseller rank. And so by including all of the products, right, not just the ones that show up in X-Ray, you're gonna get a more meaningful dive, right? We wanna see where all of the relevant competitors are getting their sales from, not just the ones that have a BSR. Another really helpful tip is to go and spend time exploring the sub-niche to identify all potential competitors. So if you click on the sub niche, it's gonna show you the best sellers. And again, you might see other competitors that don't show up, they don't have a BSR, these competitors might not be displayed in X-Ray. You can also manually copy and paste an ASIN into your ASIN tray by putting it right here and then clicking the green check icon. Again, once you have the list of ASINs that you're happy with, you click search on Amazon, and now you're gonna have this customized page of only the ASINs that you've added to your tray. Once you have that custom page, then you click X-Ray, and then go through, and again, take time to categorize and rename your niche. When you do a dive from your tray, the niche name is going to be this long string of letters and numbers that is not going to be meaningful and it's not going to be readable. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and rename that, otherwise you might get a little bit confused. If you click this checkbox here for select all, this is gonna select all of the ASINs to be included in your dive. And again, this just ensures that everything that you've put there, everything in the tray will actually be included in the dive. So the last thing that you're gonna do is click the green dive button and then data dive is gonna crunch all of the numbers for you while it compiles your research. Now this process is gonna take about 90 seconds. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee as you wait for your dive to complete. The other thing that I want to mention is that data dive is going to work within whatever your Cerebro quota is. So in most cases, 250 searches in a day. If you find that in a day you're getting close to that Cerebro quota, maybe potentially think about having a dive which includes less competitors. If every single dive that you're doing includes 25 competitors, obviously you're going to hit that quota a little bit sooner. So also worth noting at any point while the dive is running, you can click the red cancel dive button and then that dive will be canceled and then you won't deduct from your Cerebral Quota for the day. So that's where we're gonna wrap up for right now. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out directly to our support team or you can leave a comment right down below in the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.